want anything bad enough, don't make excuses. You gotta lose your time and your sleep for it. You find a way. Boxing King Media in association with the Riyadh season, Mr. Frank Warren, what an event announced today, Knockout Chaos. Uh, are you surprised anymore now? Every day I get surprised. Even at my age, I'm getting more and more surprised. Every day there's a new, every day there's a new surprise. You know, these fights are coming thick and fast. They're exciting, meaningful, and lead to bigger and better things. I think the most intriguing thing today was His Excellency announced that potentially, if things go to plan, it could be Fury AJ in the summer. Uh, is that how you took it? That's how I took it. Let's see what happens. Let's make sure they come through their respective fights. And that would be fantastic if that is the case. And obviously other things he suggested is dream fights between Matchroom and Queensbury. Are you already thinking the fight is... I'm done. I'm on that. I, you know, I want that badly. Yeah. Any dream fights you can pluck out the air for us? No, because we've got to sort out where the weights are going to be, first of all. But that, that, that won't be a problem. Obviously you've got Zile Zhang who's been waiting in the wings. I bet, how big was the queue to fight him? Sorry, I didn't. How big was the queue for fighters lining up to fight Zile Zhang? There weren't a queue at all. I've got to take my hat off to Joe Joyce. Everybody's been avoiding him, to be quite honest. So, uh, you know, it, look, and it's a meaningful fight. You know, first of all, it's great, a great fight. Secondly, it's for the WBO, inter, uh, WBO uh, interim. Inter, interim title. Sorry, it's for the WBO interim title. And the winner of that becomes the mandatory challenger to whoever holds the WBO belt. So it's a very meaningful fight and puts the winner in a great position. And a couple of your other fighters, Daniel Dubois, uh, there's no mention of him yet. I'm going to chuck a fight out there. How about Daniel Dubois versus Deontay Wilder? I wouldn't have a problem with that fight, but, De but at the moment, uh, Daniel's on holiday and we've got to have a chat when he comes back from his holiday. Any news on Joe Joyce? Joe Joyce will be back, I hope, uh, in the next couple of months. We'll be announcing that soon. Okay, and just going to get your quick opinion on Better Be of Calum uh, Smith the other night. What did you make of Arto's performance? I thought he boxed brilliantly, Bebetiev. I mean, from round one, he was in control of the fight and did what he had to do. It also put into perspective the great performance that Anthony Yard did had against him. I've got to ask for your opinion on, you know, a lot of people have been outspoken about where you potentially may or may not have took outside the ring. Tony Bell, you put a tweet out the other day basically implying that he may have cheated throughout, you know, his career, etc. Obviously, there's no proof of that. Uh, would well, you you make can't make those allegations unless of some proof. Mm. You know, that's a stupid thing to say. If there's proof, then great, then you answer, answer the consequences. But just saying it, just putting that out there is ridiculous. Uh, any news on Anthony Yard's next opponent? Uh, we'll be announcing that. I'm meeting Tundi tomorrow and hopefully announcing it by the end of the day. Anything else you want to share with the fans, uh, Mr. Warner? Nick, Nick Ball has got the WBC title against Vargas. It's a great fight, fabulous fight. Um, we've got uh, uh, Gwyn in with Chamberlain for the European title. So, it's, I mean, they, these fights are coming thick and fast now. Mr. Warren, appreciate your time. Thank you. It's a pleasure, young man. You look after yourself as well. You want anything bad enough? Don't make excuses. You gotta lose your time and your sleep for it. You find a way.